guys we are here for another supporting small business haul love her lime green i would say like tealish green packaging there's a big sticker on the front right near my address that says you've got great taste and right here says book barn galore which is the company i ordered from and it says happy mail has arrived and she personalizes it like it says for taylor that's handwritten. This is the difference between ordering from a small business versus like a big corporation. You guys know, I obviously buy from big corporations. I have Walmart holds, Dollar Tree holds, Target holds, but I do try to balance it out and buy from small businesses as well. Cause like I said, when you buy from a small business, you are supporting someone's dream. I worked for a small business for eight years. I see the hustle it takes. It is not easy. So as soon as you take the packaging off, this is what you see. I'm gonna show you guys, you see, this right here and this is the big product well i will show you guys but i even love the way she wraps it up i've ordered from her before if i remember i will share a link from a video that i did with this company a year ago and i'm saying did with this company just me showing it i'm not getting anything for this at all but it, the where she folds it it says thank you it has a little witch's hat over here you can tell she stamped it It says happy mail from book bond galore it even has a little pocket here and this is where she puts her thank you cards so this side says it's spooky season and the other side says taylor thank you for shopping at our small business your purchase made our day all items are made with loving care i loved packaging your order and i hope you enjoyed opening it jessica if you guys want to go check out this company she used to be on etsy now she has her own website which is amazing last time i ordered it was an etsy this time it was a website and it says you can get 15 percent off with the code ghosties so ghost ies and this expires on november 30th joe's birthday so this is actually a gift so i am not gonna unwrap it because i want to give it just like this i'm even gonna give the card because maybe they would like the it's spooky season side of it um maybe frame it or use it as a bookmark whatever they want to do but this is a gift because i am making a spooky basket or a boo basket whatever you want to call it for my brother's girlfriend my brother contacted me and asked if i can make this basket so he is giving it to her i am just the creator designer basket maker whatever you want to call me don't worry i will not be sharing this until she gets it she's getting it this weekend we wanted to give it to her before october 1st so she can enjoy it for the whole month book bond galore is a book accessory company but now you're going to see they are branching out and doing other things i'm going to show you guys but this is a book sleeve and i will be able to show you the print because i got the print in a bookmark but she loves the basket's actually here on the side of me so you guys are getting a little sneak peek but i'm actually gonna do that as its own video so if you guys want to see what's in her basket definitely subscribe hit the notification bell so you can see when i upload that but she loves ghost face and part of book Farm galore's halloween collection had a book face book face a ghost face book sleeve bookmark and keychain wristlet i don't really know how to label it this is it right here so it is like a wristlet obviously because you can put it around your wrist but it obviously doesn't have the clutch part this is where you put the keys that's why i say a keychain wristlet because if you say just keychain i think of just like a little metal piece i don't think of a wrist but i don't want to say just wristlet either because it's not a wristlet so a wristlet keychain she is going to love putting her keys on this i think this is so cute because it's ghost face but it's feminine uh, which is definitely like the epitome of Brittany, uh, my brother's girlfriend. She even has ghost face tattooed on her body. But you can see the ghost face and you can see all of the floral print. Um, and she has a little tag here that just says Book Barn Galore. And it says Handmade in California, USA. It seems really, really high quality. Honestly, guys, it even has its own little tag. Very sturdy metal. Doesn't feel like it's going to break off anytime soon. You have a nice little clip here. So I cannot wait to give her this. This was $15, if I remember correctly. Um, the bookmarks, I want to say, they range between like 9 and 11 um, I don't remember which was for nine and which were 11, but these are the two I got her as well. So she has the screen face bookmark that matches with the book sleeve and the wristlet keychain. And again, I love her packaging. She has a separate little cardstock here that says book bomb galore, handmade bookmarks in the USA. Can you guys see this all little bats too? Like these are specifically for the Halloween collection the attention to detail, the white tassel. This is a fabric bookmark because you guys know I do buy a lot of my bookmarks from Gigi and Bo, who I absolutely love. Um, there is one Gigi and Bo product going in her basket. Not from me though. My mom is making her a basket and my mom got her a Gigi and Bo bookmark. Um, 
but this is from the book barn galore and it's different from Gigi and Bo because even Gigi and Bo shouted out book barn galore that's why I love them they support each other small businesses just do that and she's bought and bookmarks from book barn galore because she said even though I make bookmarks these are different they're cloth where Britney's are like a laminated cardstock or you can buy just cardstock and she even has it stamped like book barn galore oh I thought it was stamped that's actually a little sticker in a way that's kind of nice because if you don't want it you can peel it off but if you want to know who who the bookmark company is from it's here and you can see it has the little phone the no you hang up the knife with the blood super cute um she is going to love this so when I saw this collection Right away, I said, I am buying this for her. I'm going to get her all three pieces. I follow Book Barn Galore on Instagram, and she did a sneak peek of this back in beginning of August. And I said, oh, my God, when is that going to be released? I know someone perfect to buy that for. And she was like, oh, look out for beginning of September. And then I had to wait till I got paid, but I bought it. So it's these are the three book face things. Uh, book face. Oh, my God, ghost face things for her. And the, the sleeve is literally the same exact print. She loves to read, so she can put her books in here. It has, let me, I can show you guys that at least. I love Book Barn Galore's because it has the button, so you get the little bit of closure on top. It's nicely thick and padded. It really protects your book. And it has a black and gray stripe on the inside. I got a book sleeve originally from, when I first heard of book sleeves, I got a book sleeve from another Etsy page. And when it came in, I didn't really know what to expect. I've never had a book sleeve. I liked it. And all my other book sleeves are book bond galore. The second time I ordered book bond galore, and I noticed the difference in quality. The other one I bought is just a flimsy piece of fabric. I'm like, why did I pay $20 for this? Um, I could have bought fabric and made it for myself cheaper. But her, the attention to detail, like there's extra padding in here. There's the button closure. There's a pocket if you want it. My other one literally doesn't have any of this. So, and this will be Britt's first book sleeve, I'm pretty sure. So I'm really excited to introduce that to her. So those are her three ghost face items. And then she also loves Nightmare Before Christmas. She did Nightmare Before Christmas sleeves as well. Um, but I just, I know she'll like the ghost face one more. And I did have a limited budget for this basket. I already spent a lot more than my brother wanted me to. And he let me push it up more and more each time. So I wasn't going to add more to it. Um, but I definitely wanted to add some small business things in here. And there's another Etsy page. Um, so keep an eye out. Like I said, I'm going to do that separate video. Um, but anyway, here's the other one. And it is Nightmare Before Christmas. So you see Jack Skeleton. You see a jack-o'-lantern. You see some bats. I love the matching lanyards to this. So that is the three things for Brit. And I ordered nothing for myself, nothing. So when I saw these two things, I was like, what's going on? So this says, uh-oh, oops, this item has a small imperfection. This freebie is still fully functional. And it is one of her fabric bookmarks. So this one's going to be a gift for me. I love the red and black like crackle print of this. Um, I remember seeing this on our website. Was this part of the Beauty and Beast collection? No, her romance collection, which she had a Beauty and the Beast book sleeve in that collection. So I don't even see any imperfections. I mean, unless it's under this cardstock, I'll look when I open it. And then she had scrunchies on her website. There was regular size scrunchies for 10 and like extra large for 14. Um, this is a free gift for me. So there's a sticker here that says no tricks, just treats. And um, it says just care info. It says Hands wash your new scrunchie with cold water. Make sure to wash any dark color separate from the light. Make sure to get rid of any leftover water and hang or lay flat to dry. I will say this is really good quality. I'm not going to lie. Like sometimes it's it can be a little hard supporting small business because the price tag. But you know a lot goes into this for them. You know their time, their money. You know they, they pay the cost for everything. The shipping if you because I did get free shipping because I spent I think her website is $65.00. No, it's 59 and I spent 65. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, or is it 69 and I spent 75? I don't remember anymore. I know the book sleeve was like 30. Um, and like I said, this was 15 and the bookmarks were between 9 and 11 each. But anyway, when I saw this scrunchie on there, I said, wow, $14 for a scrunchie. But now that I have it in my hand, this fabric is so high quality. The stretch on this is so high quality. I bought, you guys know, most of my hair stuff's from Dollar Tree. And it's fine. Don't get me wrong. I'm still using it. But it stretches out really fast. I do repurchase it more often. The fabric sometimes doesn't feel the greatest. So I cannot wait to rock this. I wear my hair in a bun almost every day for work. We do have kids that pull our hair um, at work. So I have a bunch of cute t-shirts coming in. You guys are going to see that as well. Uh, that are Halloween themed t-shirts with like, not kid design, but... 
it's specifically i got it from a teacher website i'm not a teacher but you guys know i work at a school along the teacher and it's pete the cat which if you guys don't know what pete the cat is it's like a character that kids love um he has books and youtube i call him i tell my mom i explain him as the dish generations dr seuss and i have a, a few pete the cat halloween shirts coming in so they're halloween shirts for me to wear at the school for the kids and i'm gonna rock this scrunchie with it i am so excited so that is everything i got from book barn galore so you can see she definitely does book accessories obviously but she started doing glassware sweatshirts i saw that on her line see she has the wristlet keychains and a bunch of different prints she does dog bandanas and you can custom put their name on it she does scrunchies so definitely go check her out um i will link her down below i will also link Gigi and Bo just because i did mention her i mentioned her a lot you guys know i love Gigi and Bo. so my plan to give the gift is i will show you i'm just literally going to take these two items out for myself and which was nice because i only you know i bought everything for somebody else and i got some stuff um and i'm literally gonna put it right in this baggie like she, i think that'll look so cute in her gift basket with the book sleeve wrapped up behind it i think um it'll make a really good presentation so if you guys want to check out the gift basket like i said definitely subscribe and check the note hit the notification bell so you can be notified when i upload i'm literally gonna film it right now there's some really really good stuff in here um but yeah that is it for this video if you guys like hauls unboxings i also do gift basket videos not super often whenever i have the opportunity to make one um a lot of times around christmas i have those i love love doing gift baskets and there is a few dollar tree things in here which is pretty surprising um that she is going to love i tell you guys i always do a little bit of dollar tree to kind of fill in the basket one of the co-workers at my job is getting married and she was like saying that she's really stressed out she has so much to do and she, she bought a bunch of things to make her bridesmaids like little baskets. And I told her, I said, if you bring the supplies to work, I will literally do it for you. Like I'll either bring it home and do it or I can just stay one day after school and do it. Because honestly, I love doing gift basket stuff. You guys tell me down below what you love doing. You know, whether it's crafting, reading, writing, video games, like whatever. Everybody has something they love. Um, I love crafty things like that. Like gift baskets, coloring, reading, um... Like I said, if you want to see the gift basket, subscribe. If you like the video, you like me, give it a thumbs up. It really helps the YouTube algorithm. I appreciate you guys being here. Be safe today.